In a village from Korea's feudal period, a gang of hoodlums arrives and begins to cause chaos. They consume large amounts of food and drink, but refuse to pay for it. Byung, the main target of their harassment, has had enough and decides to fight back. He defeats the leader of the group and breaks the arm of another, sending the others running in fear. The girls are stunned by his strength, but then jokingly comment on his large nose, implying it means he has a large penis. The old woman then appears and tells Byung's story, explaining that he had been out selling rice cakes when he saw her taking a bath and was forced to kiss her. She reveals that Byung has a small wiener, causing the girls to laugh at him. In contrast, Kang Mok, Byung's older brother, is quite popular, with many village girls vying for his attention, especially when he is bathing. Feeling dejected and alone, Byung had intended to go to Kang Mok, but he sadly leaves after seeing the girl's reaction. Later that night, Byung visits the tavern, but the tavern owner finds out about the rumors about him and mocks him, causing Byung to lose his temper and start smashing things. However, he is stopped by Kong Mok who arrives in time and pays the tavern owner compensation before escorting Byung home. On their way home, they meet Doll Gang, an alluring girl performing a sensual dance. Mesmerized by her, they fall off the bridge. Doll Gang loves dancing and lives alone in the forest, but nothing is known about her family or past. Byung had developed a fondness for Doll Gang and secretly supplied her with food. Upon her discovering this, she found it endearing. Doll Gang had a habit of not wearing clothes when swimming in the stream, which inevitably drew the attention of many of the males in the area. This made some of the girls quite jealous, leading them to eventually gather and viciously attack her. Fortunately, Kong Mok was nearby and was able to rescue Doll Gang. After bringing her back home, Kong Mok announced to Biyang that they would be getting married in five days. This news was so devastating to Biyang that he left the house and went to the riverside. While he was there, a monk and his student cried out for help after falling into a trap. Biyang saved Monk and his student. When the monk discovered Biyang's insecurity, he decided to return the favor by providing a solution. He told Biyang of a jug of wine that could help him if he drank from it and gave him the location. The monk warned Biyang that if he consumed more than one sip, it would bring disaster to the village, but Biyang disregarded the warning and drank the entire jug. After three days, the consequences of Biyang's actions began to manifest. Every man in the village had been conscripted into the army and Kang Mok had to go in Biyang's place. When Biyang returned home, he found Dal Gang wearing a seductive dress, making him aware of the effects of the jug of wine. To prevent falling to temptation, he spent the night chopping firewood. When he went to a stream to drink because he was thirsty, the water in the area had dried up due to Biyang's overindulgence. After consuming a large amount of water, Bien needed to relieve himself at the peak of the mountain with the blind physician. Suddenly, the daughter of the local ruler had been entrapped in a wild fire. Biyang managed to put out the fire by directing the path of the waterfalls and even reached the sun, which gained attention of everyone, and the ruler's daughter was no exception. The news of this event spread quickly throughout the village, making the females admire him. As he was playing shuttlecock with his penis, he pulled off an incredible shot, leaving everyone in awe. Biyang went back to selling rice cakes and the girls attempted to seduce him, but he refused them all as he believed his penis was too powerful. They attempted to kidnap him, yet he managed to escape. The tavern owner was confident that she could get Biyang to make love with her during the night, so she broke into his house. At first, Biyang kept his distance but on a full moon night, when his penis was at its most potent, he unleashed his great penis causing the tavern owner to scream loudly. Her cries alerted the other girls. The tavern owner declared that it would take her at least 10 days to fully recover from Biyang's actions. The girls then lined up, eager to receive Biyang's services. His actions earned him a considerable fortune. Doll Gang, whom Biyang adored, was displeased and outraged of his actions. The daughter of the local ruler, who has been saved, informed her father of Biyang's heroic action. The ruler informed Biyang that he would be competing against a prince from the west in a competition to test their penis strength. If Biyang came out victorious, the ruler would grant his brother permission to go back home. Everyone was astonished when the prince was able to lift three dumbbells at once, whereas Biyang had difficulty adding the second one. 
Seeing this, the ruler's daughter enticed him with a banana, which enabled him to increase his strength. Consequently, he managed to lift an impressive 11 dumbbells and win the competition. Tragically, Kong Mok was killed in a battle, and the situation became even worse when Dal Gang fell ill. The blind doctor examined Dal Gang and recommended she take a bath in a stream to reduce her fever. Unfortunately, due to the drought, there were no water sources in the area, so they had to employ a giant wiener as a second option. The combination of male and female energies would aid Dal Gang in regaining control of her body. Despite his moral conflict, Biyang chose to save Dal Gang. In the morning, Dal Gang was behaving normally. However, Biyang was filled with remorse for not taking the necessary precautions and protection so his customers had started to show signs of being pregnant. When the men of the village learnt that Biyang had been planting his seeds inside their wives, they decided to apprehend him and offer him to the bear god as a sacrifice. Biyang was also overwhelmed with shame when he discovered his brother was alive, though without legs, due to his actions. Dal Gang too became pregnant, but the blind doctor predicted that due to the drought, she and the unborn child would not survive without water. Consequently, Biyang voluntarily gave himself up to the authorities out of guilt for drinking the entire jug of wine. Kong Mok eventually encountered Dal Gang and found out that she and Biyang were married. Dal Gang disclosed that she had agreed to be his wife, regardless of his circumstances, as she only cared about how caring Biyang had been to her. Biyang was forced to enter a cave without knowing a bear was there. After he remained inside for a long time, everyone assumed he had died. Kong Mok was unable to rescue his brother due to his disability. The elderly woman felt sorrow for Biyang, and the faithful patrons of Biyang began singing their traditional songs in order to prevent having to sacrifice him. They prayed for rainfall and happily embraced each other when the rain eventually began to fall. A memorial service was held for Biyang and the Dal Gang continued to live in the village. Years later, the children of Biyang had grown and all shared the same strength. To everyone's astonishment, Biyang was still alive, but he chose not to go back to the village, even though the Dal Gang had always been his family and in his heart. Thank you for watching. What would you do if you had a large penis? Would you also be kind and attempt to help women like he did? Be that compassionate person and hit the like and subscribe button with that big winner of yours.